Hello and welcome to another episode of Out of Spec Dave, where last weekend I rented a Model Y from Hertz, and it was a great experience. Um, but one of the things Hertz rep told me was not to drive the car down less than 9%. And I was like, 9%, it seems like such a random number. And while at the end of the day, I think she was just trying to tell me not to go too low in the pack um, to be safe, I had to test it. So in this episode, we're gonna do exactly that and test the 9%. And when I say we, um, I did it myself because my wife, Kathy, she's like, I'm not having any part of a road trip. That thing was at 86% state of charge when we picked it up and I got to bring it down to 9%. So stick with me on this uh, episode of Out of Spec Dave, where I actually test the Hertz representatives claim not to go less than 9%. Let's see what happens. Well, what if I return the car with 2%? She and she said, can't. she said, the car won't let you go less than 9%. I said, oh, really? And then I said, we got to test that, which we do. Yeah. And here we are at 84% state of charge. No, 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 we're not testing that because she said it will stop at 9% and yeah. then you'll need roadside assistance. Right, exactly. Well, I'm not going to be part of that. Oh, part of there's video. no way. I'm not doing There's it. no way that the car is, is, is set to, to stop on the side of the road at 9%. I'm testing that for sure. Okay, test we, it by yourself. I am not going to be your rescue mission. Well, that's. Uh, <laughs> This marriage only goes so far. You remember the meatloaf song? But I won't, won't do, do that. that. Well, that's what you won't that's, do. That's all right, finally so. finally figured out what right, I would Yeah. Bailey. She wants to go for a ride in the, in the Model Y. You can't blame her. I mean, look at this thing. Beautiful. Very cool. All right. Let's go for a little road trip. We're going to take this thing up to Merritt, maybe up Route 8, right back. And we're gonna we're gonna supercharge this puppy and see how it all works with Hertz in terms of the charging. And when I mean charging, I mean not only the charging of the car, but the charging of my credit card. So that should be interesting. All right, let's do this. Let's get going. Oh wow! Look at these cousins. How beautiful. The other thing that I wanted to mention that I actually forgot to mention in my last video, which you can all see in uh, just the one I released the other day on the same channel, Out of Spec Dave, about my uh, Hertz rental experience with the uh, Model Y, was the fact that you can't really use um, the app when you get the car from Hertz. They give you a key card which I've always thought that's something you use for the valet guy or that's a, you, use, you keep in your wallet as an emergency. Um, but, you know, since they, because they don't give you a key card or because they don't give you um, access to the app, you can't precondition your car and you can't monitor dog mode if you're, let's say, in at the mall or you're in at a restaurant or what have you. So I, I don't. I think they could refine that a little bit and maybe give someone a temporary passcode. If you know that there's a way to do this with Hertz, um, let me know, but I, I didn't see it. Dog mode did work in the car, which is great. Um, but the other thing that was curious was you couldn't open the glove box. There was a pin on there. So I look, whatever. I, 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 it's not like I, I'm using the glove box on a rental car anyway, but Let's get into the story as to the 9% uh, claim and see what actually happens. Because you know what? Maybe when I took delivery of the car, I was like, maybe Hertz and Tesla worked it out. So there's this magic 9% number that if you go below that, the car will just pull over and stop. So it had to be tested. So here we are with Bailey, Miss Bailey, and dog mode. Where is she? There she is. All right, so dog mode works fine. Hertz does not, they don't turn off dog mode, which is a good thing. Bailey appreciates that. Just had a little, little pizza up here in Danbury as I'm on the road trip. Oh yeah, battery very low. This has been a proper rental 
5% at home and sentry mode is unavailable. Insufficient charge. Oh well. Well, Hertz, your, your Model Y will be safe here in my driveway. Don't you worry. But, um, yeah, listen, there's no constraints on this vehicle in terms of charging on how far out of spec style you can go down. Uh, just be careful as you get lower than 5% state of charge. I'm only three miles from a supercharger. Plus, I have level two here. All is good. It's going to be getting a lot colder tonight. So we're going to definitely keep an eye on this battery in the morning. But uh, overall, great, great day. Welcome back to the Model Y, where I'm driving down to the supercharger station after doing my road trip last night. It's a cold day, and I'm at 2% state of charge right now. The car feels very slow. I'm giving it quite a bit of uh, juice, and it's not liking what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to get off this exit right here, flip it around. Now I'm at 1% state of charge. That's pretty close. We'll see what happens here. Um, but I'm very close to the Tesla supercharger station. But one thing's for sure, this uh, vehicle did not, it did not run out and stop at 9%. That's for sure. Um, so, you know, we'll make it there, I think. Let's see. All right, come on, Tesla. It's just a little bit of a hill here. Um, got the thing floored up this hill and it's doing 38, 39, 40. Oh, okay, it's accelerating. Nowhere near as fast as it normally does, that's for sure. But um, yeah, yeah, we're at 1% state of charge. This is how we do it in out of spec. Pretty close. But, uh, you know, I don't know how much of a buffer is in these Teslas. I, I do know on the EGMP platform cars, but uh, we're, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, right? Will we be fine? Yeah. Like I said, we are fine. No problem. We're arriving here at 1% state of charge. And let's see. We're going to pull over. Go ahead, dude. This guy, this is such a clumsy place to, to charge a Tesla. But, uh, all right, let's back it in. We are at 1%. Can't see the backup camera very well in this car. Here we are pulling 51 kilowatts at 82% state of charge. Listen, you know, um, the it, the peak that it went up to was 170, but that was on a cold pack and it ramped down to 140 and it's been slowly linearly ramping back down to uh, 50 kilowatts. You know, one of the interesting things I do hear on this uh, Model Y, and I remember this from the Model 3, is the, the slamming in the back, the banging of the metal. I don't hear that in my Model S. Um, but it's here on the Model Y. Another quick tip: if you if you actually toggle on this uh, this little this little button up here, this will tell you how many range how many miles you have estimated. Keep in mind that's an estimate. Um, depends on how fast you go. Are you going uphill? Are you going downhill? Is it is it a windy day? Are you going into a head a head? headwind or is there a tailwind, but you can toggle between these two things. The other thing you can also do is you can actually uh, hit over here, go to uh, display and then scroll up and you can put the car in either um, energy percentage or in, in uh, distance. And that will just flip the, it'll flip these numbers right there between energy and distance. Um, it's interesting. I like to keep the car in, in in a percentage because that way I know how much I have in the pack. You know, EPA rated range on this car is 320 miles. 
I believe that's with 19 inch wheels. This particular car has 20 inch wheels. So you have to, you have to make sure that you, um, you adjust for any kind of, uh, realistically, if you get 250 miles out of this car on a long trip, you're doing well. Um, watch the percentage state of charge as I did where it said, you know, when I brought it down to 1%. And keep in mind, you do have a little bit of a buffer below that, um, maybe, the, uh, maybe around three kilowatt hours. One other thing that you can do is you can actually tap on the battery and then you'll see this screen that comes up. You can move this little bar here um, over to 100%. I'm only gonna be charging 90% today. If you ever do buy an electric car, it's probably better to, you know, never charge your car to 100% unless you have to. If you do charge it to 100%, my advice is, as soon as it hits 100%, start driving it. You'll notice that the regenerative braking will not be as effective when the car is at a 100% or even 95% state of charge. And the reason for that is because the energy has nowhere to go back into the battery. So it just waste gates it out. Um, but this car, I picked it up with an 86% state of charge. I'm going to pop it up to 90%. And that way, when I get over to Norwalk, it'll be back at roughly the same percentage uh, state of charge that I picked it up with. So all good. So as my charging session is uh, about I'm coming to an end here, pulled in with 1%. I just wanted to point out that you don't have to worry if you do rent the car from Hertz that this magic number of 9%, the car is just going to pull over and stop for you because that's not what's going to happen. So rest assured, there's no modification on these Teslas that Hertz is renting out. This is a, um, this is a, mo a Model Y. They typically have a buffer of about 3 kilowatt hours below 0% state of charge. And uh, I just proved out that this is not modified in any way. I was so curious when the, when the rep from Hertz said that it's gonna do that. Now listen, I understand why they probably say that, just to be uh, on the safe side and make sure people don't bring it down to such a low state of charge. Um, but we had to test it here at Out of Spec. And so anyway, thanks again for watching another episode of Out of Spec Dave, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.